Hey, this is The Social Tea, and I'm Sharonda Lee. I talk about all things social, including celebrity news, reality shows, what's going on in pop culture, local news, and more here in these YouTube streets. Now, we know folks always get in their feelings about what's said here on social media, so I must say, what's stated here is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Make sure you visit my website at www.thesocialteatalkmedia.com and also follow me on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also known as X, and TikTok. Also check out my podcast, The Social Tea, Off The Air, on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Now y'all, I stay on ready, so make sure you subscribe to my backup channel, I am Sharonda Lee, The Social Tea, here on YouTube. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit that notification bell, like, share this with everyone you know, and subscribe. Now, with all that being said, relax, get comfortable, and let's get into the tea. This is so freaking disgusting. I had to report on this because this kind of pulled my heartstrings. I have a daughter that's in college, and I know I would fly off the freaking roof if she said anything like this happened to her i want y'all to take a look at this um i did see this on tiktok um this young lady said that she goes to morgan state and i i live in the city of baltimore so <laughs> i i know where morgan state is and it does have a reputation um when my oldest daughter was applying to college Morgan State was one of the schools that she had on her list, but kind of gave the side eye to because, you know, when you're in high school and when you're in college, you know, rumors go around about certain things when it pertains to colleges. So even though she did apply and did get into Morgan State, Morgan State was not her first choice for a lot of reasons. Um, but take a look at this video at this young lady um, as she explained how has she's being sexually harassed by people that supposed to work for the school and when she report reports it to the appropriate parties they don't even believe her this is freaking disgusting like i have a son that is uh about to be uh in his college era of his life and morgan state is one of the the the, the, the schools on his list but i'm like uh, you know just because you're a male doesn't mean that you won't experience those those type of things either i mean as a parent of college age children I, i'm i'm just beside myself when it comes to things like this and i'm very annoyed because we send our children out into the world for them to learn themselves because for them to be you know new inspiring minds and these are the things that they have to go through this is freaking ridiculous do not go to morgan state do not go to morgan state I'm a senior here. Um, I study political science. Um, this school is trash. I attend class in this building right here, the Martin D. Jenkins Hall at Morgan State. Today, this was the third time that I've had sexual advances made towards me by the security at this school. And when you report it, the people in charge laugh at you and insinuate that it's not true or it, it didn't happen because they know their staff. I'm coming in to take my midterms today. I go to the office. The security guard approaches me as I'm heading there and he says that I have really nice legs and he wants to take me out and get to know me a lot better. I told him no. This isn't the first time that this... 60 plus year old man has made an advance at me on this school campus. I am a student here. On this school campus, he has made advances, multiple advances towards me. I went today, I built up enough courage. I said, you know what? I'm going to stick up for myself today. I'm going to stick up for myself and I'm not going to just keep letting people say nasty and unrecorded things towards me because they feel like they can. So I get myself together. I go up to the chairman's office. 
I asked the assistant chair, Cara Jones, for political science. I say, hey, there's a security guard downstairs. Uh, his name is Stryker. He keeps making sexual advances towards me, and I'm uncomfortable. What do I do? I said he keeps complimenting my legs, and he's offering to take me out to, to restaurants, and he's saying he wants to get to know me better. And I keep telling him no. I need help. I said I need help. She tells me she's going to call the chairman of the Department for Political Science, Dr. Jackson. I say, okay, thank you. I feel good. I'm like, all right, this is going somewhere. I'm, this is getting better, you know. I'm sitting across from her, her office, taking an exam for my professor. I'm the only one in the room. I hear her call the chairman. And this is what she says. I don't believe that that happened. I have to tell you something. I have a student in here and she's claiming that the security guard has been making sexual advances at her and he is talking about her legs and asking to take her out to eat. But I know him and I've known him and I don't believe he did any of that. She's saying all this while I'm right across the room. I can hear her. And so I'm sitting there and mind you, I just thought like I got over the hump. I'm like, all right, I got over the hump. I spoke up for myself. It's, I'm going to get some type of justice or at least I will feel comfortable enough to come into my class. Um, no. So she's snickering in her office saying that she doesn't believe none of that happened. Um, so after about the third time of her saying she just knows this man so well and she doesn't believe that this 60 year old man would offer to take me out to eat or compliment my body. I get up and I, I ask her, I say, are you insinuating that I'm lying? That's exactly how I asked her. And she was shook. She was like, well, um, no, I'm just saying that I don't believe he would, he would, he would do that because I've, he's worked here a while and I don't know, I'm not sure. And I'm so sick of this school. I'm so sick of the people that work here. I'm sick of the nasty rude comments and it, it, as an older black woman i expect you to look out for a younger black woman regardless of how she looks or what she has or what she's wearing look out for her all you can do is snicker and put your two cents in and say you don't believe that that would happen if you don't want to be sexually assaulted harassed or violated and then laughed at um don't come to Morgan State. And Morgan State, I I can't believe I'm putting my money in here. I can't believe I'm paying. This is what I'm paying for. To be assaulted. And violated. And disrespected. And I just don't like it. And I don't want to go here anymore. And I don't think anybody should have to do that. If somebody violates you or makes you uncomfortable and you're trying to speak up for yourself... I don't believe that the people that you're asking for help should be the ones laughing and denying you service because it's not happening to them. And just because something's not happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening. And I'm just really upset and I don't, I don't want this to happen to anybody because this is really upsetting. <laughs> it's really upsetting. And I, I don't want anybody to go through this. Do not made a thing.